question one. Uh, the first part said, what is the nature of the soul? Um, it's obviously the spiritual aspect of humanity. Um, Jeremiah 17, 9 says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? Um, which sounds like humans are pretty bad, but it says Genesis 1, 27 that so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. So I think that um, the nature of um, every soul when we're born is um, we have a desire to do good, but um, once sin came in, we all have a there's something inside us that kind of pulls us that direction. So I think there's really a constant struggle in, um, in our spiritual aspects. Um, is the soul different or the same as the mind? Um, the soul is defined as a spiritual principle in body, embodied in human beings, uh, a person's total self or the moral and emotional nature of human beings. And the mind is defined as the organized conscious and unconscious adaptive mental activity of an organism. Um, Aristotle believed that the mind was uh, the part of the soul that knows and understands. So um, I think that the mind and the soul are the same thing, as we've all said, but um, the mind is just like Aristotle says, it's just part of the soul. Because um, you can't really have one function without the other. Um, for example, our mind is what gains knowledge, but our soul is what um, gives us the ideas of how to apply the knowledge, and it gives us all different motivations to learn. Question two, um, what is human nature at, at birth? Um, just as I said before about the soul, I think um, we all have a desire to do good, but um, sin corrupts us, and it's a struggle. Um, what comparative weight do heredity and environment play in the development of the person? Um, there was a, a TED talk by um, Zillip, Philip Zimbardo, we watched in another class of Mr. Hughes, um, and he believed that there was a gene um, that caused people um, to be serial killers and to do evil things. And I'm not positive if I believe that exactly, but I do think um, that shows that, or I do think there are things in heredity that um, affect our personality. Um, but he did believe that people could overcome this gene um, because of their environment and the way that they're brought up. So um, it's really just a balance of those two things. Um, we all have tendencies that are inborn inside of us, but um, our parents and um, whoever raises us and everything around us teaches us how to react to those things based on our personality. Uh, what is the connection or relationship between the physical and the soul or the mind? Um, Descartes believed that um, believed in mind-body dualism, which said that the mind and body were two very distinct things, and one could exist without the other. Um, assuming that the mind is only a part of the soul, um, you can agree with Descartes. Um, the mind and the body can exist separately. If you think about um, someone being in a coma, their their body's functioning, but they're they're not functioning cognitively. Um, but Assuming that the soul is the spiritual capabilities of a person, um, they they can't exist. the The soul can't exist, or the soul can't exist without the body, because it's what enters and leaves you when you when you're born and when you die. What's the nature of human intelligence and how does it function? Um, intelligence incorporates a number of different and complex processes. Um, it's a combination of, of ability that's inborn in you. Um, you can develop it as you grow, you can practice it, and it has a lot to do with your motivation. Um, how's it best measured? Binet showed um, a reliable estimate to intelligence can be obtained by sampling component processes and summing the results across samples, which is just all of his intelligence testing um, that we talked about in today, our ACT and SAT tests. Um, but intelligence testing, um, accurate testing should allow for different kinds of intelligence, as we've all said. Um, there's a lot more than just reading, writing, math. Um, you have to know how to get out in the world and things like that. Um, what is mental illness? A mental, um, a mental bodily conditioning, condition marked primarily by sufficient disorganization of personality, mind, and emotions to seriously impair the normal psychological functioning of the individual. So um, this is caused by heredity, um, 
there are some children who got really sick um, when they're young and um, social factors, things like that. Um, what are the main functions and purposes of psychology and psychological treatment? Um, it started by curiosity about human behavior. Um, as a lot of us have said, it's to describe, explain, predict, and change behavior. Um, you can use psychology clinically or just in your everyday life, like we learn things in social psychology that has to do with things we do every day. Um, the most important application is to help people in need um, to become the, be the best version of themselves. Um, you have to understand how someone thinks and why they think this way in order to help them in the most effective way. That's it. Can you go back? Mm-hmm. Keep going. can't remember which one it is at all. I think I know when I see it. Keep going. Can you push it to you? Yeah, let me see that one. Um, oh, um, Most of our tendencies are inborn. Can you talk about that a little bit? Um, that's kind of just talking about your personality. Um, I think that a lot of the way we act is just natural. Like people who are naturally shy or naturally outgoing. Because, I mean, just even me and my sister, you know, we were raised, she's three years older than me, and we had the exact same upbringing, but we're completely different. And I mean, there's no reason that we should be so different, but we just are naturally. Anybody else? Parsons? <laughs> no, I don't have no question. You're talking about me 